Hey, good morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. This is gonna be the last point and shoot for a while. I've got a lot of stuff to do with the day job and a few other things to do for the TTP business. But I wanna share with you where I landed with the 9600 bot experiments over the weekend. First things first, uh, no, you can't do 40 or 9600 baud on six meters. Apparently it's not permitted via the band plan. And also the 8900 radio that I have will actually not allow you to put it in that mode. Uh, I decided to try something a little bit different. I'm doing it on uh, 70 centimeters, 440 megahertz. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to experiment with different bands and I already have VHF for 1200 baud packet. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the station. I pulled this one out of the RV just to make filming really quickly easy this morning. So again, we're using the quad bander. This is the Yeastu FT8900. It's the radio that I had on hand. I had to make one change to it, and that was adding the Digirig 9600 baud cable. You do need a special cable for this, and you do need a special radio that has the pinout. Uh, for this test, I need to consult the band plan, but I'm running low power right now. I just picked a frequency that doesn't seem to be used on 446.500. I'm running uh, all of the software like Direwolf configured for 9600 baud. There's a different configuration settings there using the mini PC. People have reported that these mini PCs have a problem with the variability in 12 volts, especially when running directly off a battery. I have not been able to do those testing since it's new to me. I'm running off a regulated power supply and it has not cut over to the power gate, which will run on battery. I do need to run those tests. If it turns out to be a problem, I'm just gonna get rid of these guys. Uh, I don't mess around anymore. I don't try to tinker with it. If it fails for any reason during that use case, uh, I actually prefer to go things like the um, FZM1 just because it's got the built-in screen and I have a bunch of these units remaining and these only ran me about 110 bucks a few years ago and these things are a tank. In fact, the BBS now has been running for 47 days straight, uh, running packet and then doing all the coordination between the HF port and now the, the 440 port. All right, so in terms of the station we'll be using to connect uh, to or from, we're using my old 818 man pack. I did take it out of uh, my old original prototype man pack bag and uh, also have the same job here with the uh, new cable. So I've got the other one just dangling the 1200 baud cable. Did put this into 9600 baud packet. I left the packet uh, data at uh, 50 and I haven't adjusted that too much. Uh, there is some configuration tweaking I have to do. The audio levels are not quite right. But just for a uh, speed comparison, we're going to start Paracon, which is our terminal uh, radio program. We will connect to my TTB, TTP BBS, which is the new 9600 baud port. We'll click OK. And I found this to be uh, noticeably faster than 1200 baud. I'm not going to be doing any... Uh, nerd testing here to figure out how many milliseconds or seconds it is faster or slower, but very quick. A uh, good example here is we'll type in, let's say, uh, info, which will ask the system for my information. And uh, there's about a paragraph worth of text here, and it comes back pretty quick. So range is short here, but we'll see how this works in practice. I've got another integration I did with uh, Wikipedia through the BBS, and it brings back information uh, fairly quickly. So, I mean, we're interacting with it at probably faster than writing or reading speed, which is pretty cool. And then for the search, we're gonna put AX25 packet. So if you can benchmark this yourself, take a look at some of the other videos I did with 1200 baud, uh, but I'm pretty impressed with how quick the back and forth is here. And then we'll select uh, the first article there and watch how quickly the text will come back. Uh, I can't read this fast, so I think for me, this might be a interesting uh, keeper here. So we'll do some range testing. Uh, what I also noticed when I was doing the testing initially, I thought this wasn't working. I was expe expecting some chirping sounds and I don't hear that with the uh, 9600 baud. It actually uses a different modulation technique. It uses FSK instead of AFSK, like 1200 baud. Uh, took lots of different notes here on everything that I had to do from radio configuration to uh, configuration for things like direwolf with the the rate anyways gotta jump into a meeting guys have a good one be strong be safe and be prepared